Anemone. 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 Nailed it. Anemone. Anemone. Hey, so me and Shelly are here at Hongha Aquarium Market in Shenzhen. Say hello to the good people of the internet. Hi, hope you guys are doing well. And what are we doing today? We're buying an anime. Some of you guys requested a video of the aquarium markets here. Uh, so that's what we're going to do today. This is the one I go to in Shenzhen. I also have a live fish store that I frequent pretty often. And these aquarium markets are always hidden in weird spots. Like this one here at Hongka is underneath a Walmart. And it seems like most of the aquarium markets in China are always just like these little underground streets. So they're really neat. And yes, there are Walmarts in China. I was surprised too. Oh, uh, not me. Well, no, that part, that one's good. We, we, don't, we don't have to redo that one. My Chinese is pretty limited. So whenever I come to the fish market or the aquarium market, I like to bring Shelly along. Uh, Cause I'm gonna let you hear my Chinese. It is pretty limited. So I'm gonna say something in Chinese and Shelly's gonna tell you what I said. 我想买九条鱼. I want to buy this fish. This catfish is quite expensive. And that is about the extent of my Chinese. I'm not very good at haggling. Shelly is an excellent haggler. I love bringing her along. I always like to bring Shelly along because uh, the guys here see me, they see the foreigner, and they assume that I have lots of money. Um, and so a lot of times they'll try to overcharge me because I know American prices, um, but I'm not entirely familiar with how much these corals should cost in China. Um, so sometimes they'll give me an inflated price. And to me, I'm like, yep, that's, you know, that's exactly how much a bubble tip an enemy should cost. And then I, a little bit later, find out, oh, I got overcharged. A bubble tip an enemy in China is significantly cheaper than a bubble tip an enemy in America. So I love to have Shelly around so that people don't take advantage of me. So one of the things that's so cool about aquarium markets here in Shenzhen, you know, it's not like your aquarium store back home where, you know, you've got everything in one store. Here, the market all has different stalls and different vendors. And each vendor tends to focus on one thing or one type of fish. So for example, right behind me, uh, we have the guy that focuses on koi fish. Uh, then you go down, there's some vendors that specialize in discus, vendors that specialize in Asian arowana, vendors that specialize in aquatic plants, aquascape tanks, and then you go all the way to the end and you start to get to the vendors that specialize in saltwater fish and vendors that specialize in coral. So it's really unique. It's not like a live fish store back home where everything is just in one place. Uh, each guy has his own specialty. So it's really interesting to go see. So we're here with the guy that sells koi fish. And uh, I asked the price on some of these guys. Some of the really big ones go for 30,000 koi, which is something around 5,000 US dollars for one of the really big ones like that guy there. Um, so you can see some more on the back wall. And this guy sells only koi. It's just like all the stores. They specialize in one thing and they just kind of stick to that one thing. It's really neat, a lot of their vendors have their aquariums just kind of right on the outside wall. You can look in and see what they've got. You know, just some really neat stuff that's not normally available stateside. Some really great arowana up there. I just love those fish. One day I'm gonna have one of those. Just another vendor that specializes in goldfish and uh, some koi over here too. Because each vendor, they kind of just pick one thing and they just stick with it. So like this person, all they have are goldfish and koi. So I'm out front out of one of the stores that sells Asian arowana. And these are one of my favorite fish. And one that I really wish I could keep. And I probably will once I get a bigger apartment. Uh, it's really cool because in America, I can't actually get these. They're illegal because they're an endangered species. Now, most of the ones you see for sale uh, here in China and in places like the UK, uh, Canada, those are captive bred. Uh, they're not collected from the wild very much anymore. If they are collected from the wild, it's because somebody's looking for a new variant. Uh, like they're finding all, they're finding different colors of Asian arowana all the time. Like I think they found Inscriptus arowanas maybe in 2006, so not that long ago. Because there's all these different colors. You get your super reds, your Inscriptus, your panda hatchbacks, your golden arowanas. There's just so many different colors. 
But um, yeah, it's not too bad to buy one now. Even though they are an endangered species, most of the ones that are for sale, I'd say like 90% of the Asian arowana for sale are captive bred. Got another guy here specializing in Asian arowana. I love the stores like this. I know I've said that before already in this video, but he has got some just great varieties here. They just look so cool. The last dragons in China. And coming down and you've got this guy specializing in aquarium plants and aquascape tanks. Uh, he's got a lot of the lights off. I think he's kind of closing up shop for the day, but just really cool stuff. And then you've got shops that also just specialize in just tanks. Like this store, they don't sell any fish. They sell just aquariums. And now we are moving out of the freshwater side of the market and into the salty side. Uh, the different stores kind of tend to congregate saltwater stores with saltwater stores, arowana vendors with arowana vendors, and then freshwater with freshwater. Uh, uh, Nigga Kui. if you still want to, to get the other one. Oh, yeah. You go, you go, you. So just picking up a couple of corals here. I have been looking for torch corals. For months, I kind of thought that they just did not have them in China, uh, but today I found a guy selling them, so I am just delighted. And I got a great deal. I paid 120 kwai for that torch coral. Uh, just a real slick deal. He's also got some nice bubble corals up here. I'm thinking about getting one of those. I might come back for that later. But um, yeah, this is just what a coral store looks like in China. You know, they've just got their corals out and display tanks like this. Uh, just real nice. Some really cool corals here, and the guy seems super nice. Got a great deal on that torch coral. And he's got just this beautiful display tank. You know, you can't really tell on camera, but it is massive. So beautiful. They're shopping for anemones, and I already have a red bubble tip anemone in my tank, and now I'm deciding on a second one, and I can't decide which one I want. Hey, Shelly, which one do you think Bing Bing will like? An uh, anemone. Let's go with the green, the, bu uh, the green bubble tip, I think. All right, just coming out of the fish store. And Shelly, what do we have? Uh, anemone. Now, I've never really grown any SPS in my tank, but I've been wanting to make a video on the differences between the, you know, like SPS, LPS, softy. So I think I'm gonna get a piece of Montipora to show as an example in an upcoming video. Uh, I've never kept an SPS before, but uh, Montipora, I've always heard, is a good one to start with. So I think I'm going to get a piece of this Montipora. Sometimes you get stores that even specialize in different species of coral. Like that one I just came from was more of a high-end coral store. This one, uh, which is actually one of my favorites, the owner is just a really nice lady. Uh, she specializes in soft corals. Um, this is where most of the soft corals in my tank came from. I didn't get anything today because my tank is most of the way full. I don't really have much more room for more corals. But when I get a bigger tank, you better believe I'm coming back here. Jelly, what's recording? Hold on, wait. Straight face. All right, we're finished up here at the aquarium market. We've got our anemone, and now we're going to head home. Hey, guys. Thanks for watching. Please to like and uh, subscribe this channel. All right, so me and Shelly are back here at base camp. We brought the anemone and I've got it in the tank now. A uh, really fun trip to the aquarium market. And I just wanted to remind everybody just one more time, all of my videos come with a free resource. Me, you can follow me on Instagram here. Uh, and you can send me a DM anytime, or you can ask me a question in the comments below. Uh, I'm pretty easy to get a hold of. I'm also a member of lots of different Facebook groups. For example, Fish Tank Alley, a uh, great place to go hang out. You know, I'm not just a talking head on YouTube. We can hang out virtually. I'll see you next time. Peace out.